All right, here we are at our 2004 Malibu Wake Setter 23 LSV. We're here on the beautiful fresh waters of North Lake, Tennessee. This slip is transferable. If you would like to keep it right here, that will be an option for you. This is a two owner boat. It's been on Norris Lake essentially since it was new back in 2004. This is powered by the uh, Inmar Hammerhead 380 horsepower V8, 5.7 liter multi port fuel injected uh, V8 inboard V drive engine. Uh, there are about 995 hours on that on that MR. And as usual, we, you will not hear us mention the uh, asking price today, but that can be found very easily at our website, along with all of our contact information should you have any additional questions. Website's also where you're going to find the full list of features and specifications and options that this one has. Every once in a while we will make a mistake in the video tour. When we notice those mistakes, we try to make reference to it in the video description. Uh, but again, if there are any variances in what is said in the video tour and what is listed um, on our website, the website will be the more accurate of the two. All right. So we're here for our video walkthrough tour. For those of you that are uh, looking for that uh, information, the asking price to make it easy for you, there will be a direct link down in the video description that will take you right to the listing page for this one at our website. Uh, you copy and paste that or click that link and that's gonna load right up on our website. Again, the website is yournewboat.com. You can also just type that into your address bar or in your web browser. Click enter, look for that find your new boat button in the top left hand corner. When you click that, that'll show you all of our inventory and order price, and you can scroll down until you get to this one. Again, this being the 2004 Malibu Wake Setter 23 LSV. Uh, additionally, you can you can go to yournewmalibu.com. Again, that's yournewmalibu.com. That will show you only the Malibus that we currently have for sale. So that that will also uh, make it easier for you to locate that if for some reason you're watching this on a device and you're not able to see that video description. But again, for your convenience, that video description will take you right to our listing page where you're going to see all of our contact information. You'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email. Feel free to use whatever method is easier for you. But we do like to remind you, if you send us an email, if it's been one business day, you have not gotten a reply email, please check your spam folder. For whatever reason, we have a high rate of our email replies that will land in customer spam folders. And additionally, if you call us on the phone, you get our voicemail. Uh, keep in mind that if you do not leave a message... We will not know that you called. We operate mostly, ex most exclusively on Norris Lake. We'll go a little bit outside of that in um, other areas of East Tennessee. But here on Norris Lake, um, we are not always in cell phone reception areas. So if you do get our voicemail, you want to return a phone call, all you got to do is leave us a message. Let us know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. Um, Please uh, feel free to leave a detailed message and, and let us know, um, you know, whatever those questions are and again, what, which boat you're looking at. And as soon as we either finish with the client or return to that cell service area, we'll be able to return your call and, and have all those questions answered for you. So sometimes that saves, saves a little bit of phone tag if we know what questions you have. That way if we miss you, we'll just leave all those questions uh, or answers to your questions in your voicemail. So, all right, I'm gonna step back here on our on our uh, swim platform. We do have the Malibu wedge. It, this is the manual wedge. Uh, you can reach right down through here, and there's simply two. Uh, there's a little bar right here with two clips that you use to raise or lower that wedge. You squeeze those uh, little springs, and you can lower that manual wedge in position. And just beyond that, you'll see our uh, our bronze rudder and four blade propeller. I believe that is a Acme propeller. Acme props, again, four blade. So I'll go ahead and close this hatch. This one's rated for 14. We've got a Malibu tower. We've got four Titan tower speakers. Four lights. Um, two board racks, one on either side. Those will swivel. And we've got a tower mount. PTM edge rear view mirror. We've got a newer, uh, newer interior in this one, um, and additionally, we've got uh, we've got a Sony AM/FM USB auxiliary input 
satellite ready CD stereo. It's an AM, FM, CD, USB, auxiliary, and satellite stereo. Um, we've got six cockpit speakers, uh, one kicker subwoofer, and of course we've got the four Titan Tower speakers. Now, uh, do you want to call your attention? Uh, this. Uh, those are Sony Explode cockpit speakers. That one right there is not uh, is not powering on, and this Titan Tower speaker is not powering on. So of those six speakers, uh, five of those are functioning just fine, and three of those four Titan Tower speakers are functioning just fine. Uh, we've also got the um, we've got both a forward facing and a rear facing um, lights here in your tower, and those can be operated independently. So um, that is. That can be very handy um, as far as being able to pick uh, which uh, one of those uh, lights, which set of those lights you, you want on or, uh, or of course, none on as well. Again, those are going to be forward and rear facing. Um, we believe we've got uh, 16 cup holders in here and this one's rated for 14. We've got, let's see, four over there on the starboard side, four right behind me on the port side. That's going to be eight. Two more up here makes 10. Two down here by your driver makes 12. And then another uh, pair on both uh, port and starboard sides up there in the bow area. It's gonna uh, take that up to uh, 16. Got a self-draining cooler underneath this seat right here. Now this is kind of packed full of uh, gear, but your, your cooler is underneath here. It's actually a paddle board down there right now. We've got 12 volt power outlet right here for your passengers. And you've got another 12 volt power outlet up here just below your, your throttle for your driver. So there's two 12 volt power outlets. Um, there is that driver stereo remote right there. It's also the same stereo remote on the um, transom for uh, access from the swim platform. And then your stereo head unit is right here. Again, that is at Sony Marine. AM, FM, CD, USB, auxiliary input, satellite, stereo. Tilt um, steering wheel. We've got the um, your driver's seat's going to swivel, and it's also got the flip up bolster. And then we function tested uh, not everything that we are able to um, in, until the boat is dewinterized. Of course, we're always happy to make that happen. Um, even uh, before spring gets here, anytime, anytime we've got someone interested, uh, even year-round, uh, we can we can make the boats available. We'll dewinterize them, uh, do a water test, and then re-winterize them. Of course, all that is with a uh, acceptable offer in place. Uh, but yes, yeah, so all that can be arranged. So if you're trying to get something set up for spring, um, typically we're we're going to recommend you, you not wait because boats are always going to start selling faster the closer we get to warmer weather. Uh, but yeah, we will make everything available for uh, mechanical inspection, marine survey, water test, things like that. So um, we again, we function tested what we're able to. We've got a working horn. Um, we, we were not able to func uh, function test the anchor light, but navigation lights appear to be just fine. We've got some interior lights, um, and then uh, we've also got the tower um, tower lights. We've got two docking lights on this one. One of those works. The other one does not. Um, and then this has the Malibu launch system or the MLS Malibu launch system where we've got three integrated uh, hard ballast tanks. We've got this one that's going to have the hard tank up here in the bow. Um, this looks like a bow filler cushion, but actually there's um, your tank is under here. So there's no storage up there under that bow because that's all part of that um, third third ballast tank and then of course we've got one on either side I'll show you where those are whenever we get to the engine hatch and let's see here we've also got the uh, we've got a working uh, a bilge and a blower and this one is equipped with uh, I believe a two outlet heater as well so um, one of those is going to be right here I think that's missing that just a little cover for that right there and then um, another heater hose just uh, underneath this um, the driver's feet as well and that would be a large uh, kicker subwoofer and then here your gauges over here on um, 
support side. Let me try to block that light there a little bit for you. We've got a little cluster gauge right here that's going to show you fuel, battery, engine temp, and engine oil pressure. You've got your speedometer here in the center uh, with a little digital display that's going to show air temperature, water temperature. Uh, it does have an integrated clock and it will show our engine hours and your perfect pass as well as your tachometer is in integrated right over here um, on the starboard side gauge. So our uh, engine hours right here should power. Oh, no, I've got the battery switch turned off. Uh, again, that's 995, I think it was 995.6 engine hours. Actually, go ahead and uh, go ahead and flip that battery switch on for you. So um, this is right underneath your, uh, your passenger seat back. This will just simply raise up. We've got a nice little gas shock that's going to hold that in place. We've got dual batteries and a uh, battery selector switch. We've got an integrated um, NOCO Genius onboard battery charger that has been added. And then just forward of that, we've got a pair of uh, kicker amplifiers. I believe the uh, the top on there is about a uh, 700 uh, watt amp, and I can't quite read the, uh, the, the bottom amp. But again, two of those um, amplifiers. We've got a pair of 24 Marine Start batteries. Did not see a date code on those. But uh, but yeah, so if we hit this battery switch over here, we'll go uh, select the second battery switch. We've got some added um, interior lights as well. So we've added, um, current owners added some little red accent lights and some lighted cup holder lights. And we've all but, I'll bet one of those, this, this uh, cup holder light did not work. And this one right here, this guy right here did not work. But otherwise, even up here in the bow, we've got some, uh, some neat little lighted cup holder lights. And um, let's see, what was I looking for here? Yeah, I was going to show you our, our engine hours. So we left off at. So let's see if this gauge will power up. There we go, 995.6 engine hours. I was spot on. So, and then uh, again, we've got air and water temp, as well as a depth finder integrated into this center gauge as well. So there's your depth. Now we're not getting a depth reading right now because we're sitting up out of the water on a lift right now. There's your air temp and uh, lake temp. Those are gonna be the same again because we're, we're up out of the water right now. So and there's that clock. And then take it right back there to our digital engine hours. So leave that right there. Turn that key off, and then um, I'm gonna hit. Go ahead and hit this switch here. Now we've seen all those those lights. All right. Now I'll turn that battery selector switch to the off position as well. Um, a lot of integrated storage underneath your your seats on this one. Again, this uh, this other seat right here that's gonna have that self drain cooler, um, and these are. I'll raise one of these, but these are kind of all packed in with gear here. Gear and water toys, and in fact, um, there are going to be um, a fair amount of water toys, gear, and life jackets included with this one. The current owner is getting out of boating, so that means you're going to, if somebody's just getting started, this would be a great option because you're going to have everything that you need um, to, uh, to get out there on the water and start enjoying things. So we, we do have a removable uh, lounge table. And that's got yeah, two or four cup holders integrated in with it. Maybe just the two. And then we've got the Malibu wind block. That's this little plastic piece right here behind it. And I'll go ahead and let me go ahead and raise this, this engine hatch while we're here. Uh, now we could use a pair of uh, newer shocks here on this engine hatch. Here's your uh, pull-up ski pylon. That's where you're going to want to pull anybody doing any towables, inner tubes, inflatables, things like that. You're going to want to pull all those guys off of this pylon right here and not your tower. Uh, so again, it's that Hammerhead 380. Uh, this is the 5.7 liter uh, V8 multi-port fuel injected inboard v-drive engine again 995.6 engine hours on it so just just under a thousand hours on it and we'll go ahead and close these oh i know i mentioned i was going to show you where these hard ballast tanks were back here in the back so let me flip this back up so again that we are kind of loaded down with gear right here but your um, your ballast tanks are right over here if you can hear that and we should have we should have the um, 
same same thing right over here in this corner we should have the uh be able to locate the total amount of ballast uh factory ballast uh with this and that'll be listed in those um in that description uh full list of details and options there at the website so uh interior was redone in here there would have been um two cup holders integrated on this little pad right here but that just got covered up um so that can be a little armrest for you on this one so we got that swivel driver's seat uh there's going to be the mount where that removable lounge table can go um and again here's that tower mount rear view mirror that's ptm edge tower mount rear view mirror uh set of stereo speakers right here as you walk through to the bow area and then this is this right here is going to be where that little uh wind block will go it's kind of a hard plastic wind block it's got the malibu logo on it that goes right there just below that um walk through a windshield and can close that um entire interior off you know, obviously behind the bow area from uh from some wind for just riding in those uh cooler mornings or evenings or uh, early or late season so again um kind of glanced at the uh the bow seating earlier uh you've got that bow filler cushion but um you've also got that hard uh factory uh bow tank part of that mls malibu launch system uh underneath your bow seats up here that four cup holders uh to to the sony explode stereo speakers we are missing the kind of the cover on this speaker right here navigation lights just uh fold up up here on the bow if you haven't seen these before uh, oh gosh end up having to take a love off after all here well there we go that pops right up there whenever you uh, need those navigation lines and that uh, kind of stays in that position there i'll show you the docking lines here whenever we get to do another walk around the exterior we're about ready to start getting up close and personal and looking for uh areas of wear and tear on here again this upholstery is is new uh so you've got this this speaker cover um that is missing um and again one tower speaker and one cockpit speaker not functioning but otherwise interior wise uh no rips or tears anything like that uh we've got a little bit of dirt on some of these seats and with the temperatures uh the cleaner we were trying to use on there was not was not able to do the job um but um interior looks really good tower looks good as well for the most part we um we did not see any stress cracks around the tower bases uh where the well the where the tower mounts we do have a little bit of of kind of uh pitting up here on these tower speakers we'll see this pretty pretty commonly um, but again uh, three of those four function just fine I believe it was this guy right here that did not want to function and all those tower lights function fine as well there's uh, also a cover included with this one and let's go ahead head back to swim platform here there's it the, there's that other stereo remote um, and then we do have some oxidation really um, all over the exterior of the boat uh, But it is a bit more prevalent back here um, in this corner here. See this black right here. You can almost see um, Kind of where this oxidation is the black kind of a different shade uh, Right in here when you get here. So that's that's gonna be the most heaviest um, oxidized and We've had a few marks back here Yeah, a few marks of, of just uh, kind of gel coat scratches on here um back in here as well all right so now we're going to continue on around that side bear with me here let me kind of jockey off the boat and reposition myself over here so let's go back to this corner right here and you got some uh scratches in the gel coat over here in the uh in the red We've got some water spots up here in the black that um, this this one this one needs a really good detail. Get rid of these water spots and and uh, remove some of that oxidation. We've got four pull out cleats. Again, <laughs> I've lost I've lost the uh, oh there we go. Was able to grab that one with my uh, frozen fingers. Uh, it's about ready to say I've lost the feeling in my fingers, so I can't uh, pull those out either. Um, we've got dual fuel fields on this, so this is great when you're trying the boat or, or, or really anytime you're getting gas. It doesn't matter what side of the dock you pull up to, you're going to have a fuel fill on both your port and starboard sides. 
Um, so again here, kind of going back to these gel coat scratches in the red. Um, and then I'm gonna go just underneath this bunk here. Uh, th these are kind of into the gel coat right in here. We'll have photos of these as well. A lot of times the videos of um, a better judge of this because we can kind of play with that angle a little bit sometimes uh, things will either are hardly visible in a photo or they look uh you know worse than they actually are depending on how the uh, lighting catches if it just gives you a better better idea for what we've got going on here on the exterior and continuing to move up um, now this one's um, through that joke out there you see a little bit of fiberglass fibers here we got a little bit of dock rash right up here on this black area right here a few marks up here around the rub rail and a uh, mark on the joker that actually that one, I don't think that one's through that's just a little uh, mark on there I actually hadn't broken that joke coat surface and then be for about it on this side i kind of move this angle up and down so you can see a little bit of mark in the vinyl stick decal in there all right and of course we saw the up here in the red so let me keep going heading up to our bow area a little mark in that uh, gel coat right there um now there there's a few scratches down here in the white on this side um, we will have some photos of this i don't think i'm going to be able to get the camera close enough to show you on the video um, but none of these look deep yeah, there might be one oh, right about the middle of the screen there that might need a little bit of attention um, if nothing else just kind of sealed sealed up and then we've got a mark right over here right where this black meets the white oh, bear with me there um so with the, with the, the few exceptions over here on on this uh starboard side um you're below the water line really does look good on this one most most all of this wear is is kind of up um out of the water line let me bear with me here. I think I remembered seeing an area over here. Uh, it's actually, I think it's on the other side of the boat. I was making sure I didn't miss it here for the video. So I do apologize for. Um. So here's a little stress crack up here that's above the rub rail. And then we've got some marks right up here um, on the bow. These are typically from uh, uh, docking or uh, pulling up onto the trailer, just above your uh, your tow ring right here. Again, kind of going down that water line. Things really do look, look good on this one. There's a few. Uh, oh, and then here's your docking lights. And again, uh, I think it was this, this side right here on your driver's side that did not function the other one functioned just fine all right we're going to continue on this side either until we're done or until i fall in um, again a few more marks right over here best i can tell um really nothing concerning uh, below the water line uh, just kind of your typical light uh, scratches in that gel coat. Might be able to get you a little bit closer. And again, over here in the black, you can already tell uh, we've got some uh, oxidation over here in the black. You've got some water spots on here. Um, a, a good detailer is going to be able to remove this oxidation and these water spots. All right. It's more of that uh, gel coat scratching right over in here. We've got some more scratches in that vinyl wake setter decal.
Here's a pretty good mark through that gel coat there in the black. Um, oh, let me back up again. There was another uh, kind of stress crack in this white right here above the rub rail. It's right in here, if you can see that. Maybe a little more chip there. Yeah, there it is. In the right angle, you can see that. And so there's two of those. So there's that one there, very similar to, to this one up here near the near the valve. So. All right, continuing on down this side. A few more marks here and there. This little bit of dock rash right in here in this black gel coat. Kind of see those marks where, where it kind of went up and down. And that's where you're seeing um, the oxidation heavy in the red right here. See where that's um, you know, a little bit, um, got a little white cloud to it. That's oxidation. Uh, again, good detailer is going to be able to take that out. A few more marks up here above the rub rail. And we had well no i can't find it it was uh, a little bit of stress cracking somewhere well, we'll just keep looking for it till we find it here uh, another good little mark right here this is kind of a, a little crack in the gel coat right there and then a few more scratches uh, a little bit of a stress crack right there in the black and then again, there's that kind of that heavy oxidation falling around the edge there. Um, we've got a few little stress cracks over here by this film platform uh, where it mounts on. And then here's another stress crack right in there. And right there with that transom. Call your attention to those. And then bear with me here while I look for that other stress crack. There go. Go ahead. Let me go ahead and walk through the uh, back over the platform here. Another another kind of stress crack again, right in the same spot on the transom, and then over here where this swimming platform mount is, and. I'm gonna go on the hunt for this the stress crack we noticed. Kind of right on the bottom edge. Ah, that's it. Ah, here it is. Okay. That's what I was looking for earlier. All right, again, uh, apologize for the delay here. So we got a little bit of a stress crack right in this area right here. I'm gonna move the camera around. Typically the light's gotta kinda hit it just right for you to for you to see it sometimes. And that's must have been why I missed it earlier. Uh, a little bit of chip in that gel coat right there. Get on that edge. So, all right. So that's gonna start to wrap things up for this one today. Again, this is the 2004 Malibu Wake Setter 23 LSV. Wake and surf boat for sale again here on the uh, beautiful freshwaters. North Lake, Tennessee, uh, slip is transferable. It can stay right here. If you are in need of a slip, this is, uh, we're located kind of on the Knoxville corner of Norris Lake today. And tower mount bimini top. Um, I think we, I think we pretty much, um, hit all the features on this one. If we did miss anything, um, again, uh, refer to the website, uh, use the link, the direct link down in the video description. 
Um, or again, you can go uh, type right in uh, yournewmalibu.com. That would be an easy way to get to this one as well. Uh, again, any questions, feel free to reach out to us through the website. For the full list of features and specifications, and I, I thank you again for joining us for this one today. Again, this is the 2004 Malibu Wake Setter 23 LSV two owner boat, um, Norris Lake boat, essentially it's, uh, since it was new. And you're gonna see two things pop up in the uh, corners of your video screen. Top left hand corner will be a shortcut uh, to our current listings playlist. That's gonna be all of the boats that we currently have um, available for purchase. Uh, there at, at YouTube in the top right hand corner is a um, gonna be a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already that's a great way to get notified anytime a new listing goes up so I uh, thank you again for joining us to, uh, for this one today and again feel free to reach out to us through the website if you have any questions or want to schedule a time to come see this one in person or submit an offer or anything like that